Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Emmanuel, and we've actually just finished developing the um, UI of our food ordering app, Yummy. And if you're actually interested in, in building the application from scratch, then feel free to go over to the first video in the playlist. I'm going to leave a link to that. And um, alternatively, if you prefer to basically start from the network request or the connection to the API, then I'm also going to leave a link to the finished UI so you can clone that and then continue from uh, like just continue along with us. All right. And also, uh, before we actually get to actual coding, I decided that it's best I give um, an overview of what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be building a network service that's going to be responsible for um, handling our network requests and basically just holding all of the uh, complexities of the network request. All right. So in order to make sure that everything is sort of um, independent, I'm going to break the video into three different parts. All right. So the first part is going to involve us creating a function that helps us to create or generate a URL request. So what that is going to be is, um, and by the way, if you don't know much about um, creating a simple or making a simple request to the back end, then I suggest that you watch my video on URL sessions, data task, or download task. Um, I think it's going to give uh, a lot of insights as to what we're going to be doing. All right. But otherwise, we're still going to cover most of the things we talked about then. So don't be afraid if you don't want to go watch the video. <laughs> so um, basically, this function is going to accept three parameters or two parameters and one optional parameter. So the first one is a route, which is going to be basically the path to the resource we're trying to get in the back end. So an example will be slash posts, slash users, all right, something like that. And it's actually an enum. That's why we have it as route. Now the next parameter is method, and this is the type of action or the type of request we want to make to the back end. So um, if you remember, we have like post, get, delete, patch, etc. Then the third parameter is well, parameters. And this is um, a dictionary of string and any, and is actually optional, so you could decide not to pass in any value. So um, basically what that is, is in case you want to make a request and add some extra information, for example, you wanted to do like a login and you want to append the email and the password to the um, request body. So that's going to be passed in the parameters. So that's what that is about. So um, in the first video, on the first part, we're going to implement this uh, function so that we finally generate our URL request and send that backward. Okay. So the second thing we're going to do is we're going to implement the function to make the actual request. So this is the function that's going to be called by different um, operations. And uh, this actually accepts a couple of parameters. The first one is the route. So um, if, let's say, for example, we want to fetch a list of all the orders in the application. So the route is going to say, okay, we're going to slash, maybe slash orders, for example. And the method, as I explained from the previous function, is the type of method we want to execute. So is it a get, is it a post, or a put, whatever. Then the parameters, again, is whatever extra information we want to pass into the request. So this is sort of like the entry point that and most of these data is going to be used to generate the request. That's why we have both parameters similar in both of the functions. All right. Now, the type is one that is quite different. And what the type simply is, is it allows us to be able to, it allows the user rather to be able to um, specify the type of data that the response should be decoded as. Okay. So uh, let's say, for example, we have a user object, or um, in our case, we have a dish object. So we want to fetch a list of dishes from the back end. Now, when we call this function, our route, for example, is going to be slash um, dishes. Then the method is going to be dot, uh, get. Then the parameters is going to be empty because I don't need to um, add any extra information. But for example, if we wanted to paginate, then I could add like the limit and the page, but don't worry about that in this video. Then the type is going to be dish. 
so basically I'm saying when you get the response I want you to directly convert the JSON data that you receive into our Swift dish object okay and don't worry this is gonna make sense by the time we start to implement this in code then finally we have the completion that um, is a closure that we that simply tells the previous function that um, data has been or, or the response has been gotten so yeah and in, in the second part we will implement this function so that we will first of all when we get into this function we're gonna generate the request using the earlier function we created and then we're gonna make the actual request to the back end then in the third part what we're gonna implement is the decode um, function so um, what this does is after we've received the response from the back end this function is gonna help us to decode that response directly into the object that was specified okay so um, we're gonna implement this so that we can easily convert our JSON data into our Swift object just to give a general visual of what the flow is going to look like so we have first of all we have your device uh, maybe you open a new page or you click on a button and then the first thing that happens is it generates your request okay so after generating the request then it makes the request to the endpoint so you think of this like um, making the request to the server all right so this um, makes the request whether it's a get or put or post or a put whatever so the server does whatever magic it does and then sends a response back to us which is then immediately decoded now after the uh, response has been decoded to our swift object we simply display the data to the u to the user all right so this is the entire flow that we're going to be working on and we're going to break that break them down into three different parts so uh, if you need to do any kind of brush up then feel free to watch the video on um, the URL sessions data task I'm gonna leave a link to many of the videos I feel are gonna be helpful to understand what we're gonna be doing so don't be afraid um, this is an awesome experience and we're gonna do it together All right till then stay blessed yeah.